All right, everybody. I have made it to Georgia. I'm at the Amicalola Falls State Park, uh, just outside the visitor center. I've checked in, I've parked my truck. I've got my buddy, Andy, from Metro on the Move. He's gonna join me for the first day and overnight. He's gonna hop off at Three Forks tomorrow. But uh, so it begins. I'm excited to begin this journey. The Appalachian Trail is something I've wanted to do for a long time. Even though I'm only gonna get to do a small section of it, I'm gonna just start biting off pieces of that dream every chance I get. So uh, like I said, I'll be on the trail for seven days and I'm uh, gonna get off of Dix Creek Gap, including the uh, approach trail. It's gonna be about 78 miles. So it'll be a leisurely hike to say the least, but I am excited, ready to get on the trail. So let's do this. Official first steps onto the approach trail. Eight and a half miles to Springer Mountain. Andy said if I get tired, he'll carry my pack. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's gonna be a fun trip. I'm excited. people that have done these stairs and made videos on it whew, you didn't tell me they were so hard man that's a butt kicker but we turned the camera around here what of you I don't know three or so miles in and uh, it's been uphill the whole way so the approach trail is no joke <laughs> and he's laughing at me he knows what I'm in store for he's done this a few times but uh, this be my first time enjoying a little bit of a flat section I'm sure it won't last long but it's beautiful out today sunny it's in the 40s a little windy but uh, as long as you keep moving you stay warm but we're thinking options for tonight, either Black Gap Shelter, maybe push it on over to uh, Springer Mountain Shelter, just kind of depends how we feel when we get there, but we're gonna keep on getting down the trail. Approximately like four and a half ish or so, maybe five miles at the top. And uh, this came to a little flat spot up on this hill, but it's literally been uphill the whole way. Nice little 
tent site behind me here but it's uh yeah beautiful day out but man what a workout that uh climb we just did it's no joke no joke so uh, lots of breaks but uh we're up here we're starting to get some pretty good views of some of the ridge lines i'll turn the camera around here and show y'all All right, well, onward. It's coming off Frosty Mountain. Check this view. Beautiful day out. Beautiful view. Beautiful people. Beautiful people. <laughs> Easy there, Marilyn. <laughs> right? I caught that. Having a good time, we are. Um, I don't know how far we're going today. I think it's either black gap or whatever that is blackwell gap something like that springer mountain or we may push all the way to stover creek so i'm hoping for stover we're hoping for stover we're about six and a half miles from there so i don't know we'll see but we're going to enjoy the day no matter where we end up at all right everybody came up and over frosty mountain here's the new sign that is put up springer mountain 3.5 miles so we've gone Eight miles so far. Eight miles to the deck. Five miles. So three and a half to go to get to Springer. So I, I feel pretty good. I think I'll definitely get to Springer. No problem. It's uh, it's been a beautiful day. It's windy as all get out, but uh, we're a little protected in these trees. That's why we're thinking we get to Springer, we'll probably go up and over and down to uh, Stover Creek because it's it's more. Uh, protected from the wind and everything is what Andy's telling me. So that's probably where we're gonna head to tonight, which is good. I was only planning to get to the Blackwell Gap or Black Gap, whatever it is, I can't remember. But, but uh, so I'll get a couple extra miles in today. So that'll give me a little ahead of schedule in case I get any harder days, which I'm sure there will be. I'm telling you, this approach trail, um, it's been no joke, definitely uphill pretty much the whole way so far for five miles but that's the AT for you so more later all right into another wheel gap it's uh, windy so Andy's flying <laughs> but uh Just finishing up lunch here at the Black Gap Shelter, about a mile and a half from Springer Mountain. Uh, so we will be on the AT official here in about a mile and a half. Uh, and he's just wrapping up his spiel about REI and how to take everything back to some other hikers and uh, get a good laugh out of that. But now, head lunch and uh, Springer Mountain, here I come. All right, everybody. Well, I just checked the uh, far out guide. What a view. Thanks. But that should be Springer Mountain right there in front of us, but we can tell. Far out says it's 1.2 when I checked it, so just about there. Beautiful day, beautiful people. There it is, beautiful day to be on top of Springer. Just got up here, touched the first official blaze on the AT. 
and uh, I don't know, lucky enough, it's just perfectly clear as far as you can see. I'll flip the camera around here and show you guys. Just an incredible view. So, I think 8.8 miles in for the day, and we're gonna go to Stover, so we got about two and a half more to go. The shots are night, so. I'm gonna probably take a short break up here and turn views and head on to the shelter. Alright everybody, here we go. Official 18 miles coming up. So uh, Springer Mountain is on the terminus of the Appalachian Trail. And that is where the first white blaze is. You saw me touch right there. And uh, we're only going about, I think two and a half more miles, heading up to Stover Creek for tonight. Um, I was just talking to a ridge runner. He said that was a, probably a smart move too with all the wind tonight. So, I don't know, pretty stoked to get to uh, be at a place where so many people have started their dream adventures. Uh, how many people have, you know, Jump to doing it, got to do it right there. Just amazing. So, it's been a pretty incredible day for me as well. This is just one of my dreams to hike this. And like I said in the beginning, I'm just gonna take it piece at a time. But I'm truly blessed and thankful to be here. All right, everybody, made it to Stover Creek Shelter. Uh, quite a few hikers here tonight. Uh, we didn't see them on the trail, we must have just been behind them all morning. But, uh, yeah, like I said, quite a few people here. Um, let's just turn the camera around here and show you. We've got the shelters back there. We've got one uh, hiker here. We got this guy over here. Claims he's got a YouTube channel. Uh, hey, he's, what's up, guys? he's been following me all day. Yep. And Andy's getting Andy's getting his stuff set up. I've got my hammock here between these two trees. Uh, we got the privy down over the hill. Hopefully the wind keeps blowing that way, not this way, but we try to duck down in here tonight because there's going to be, it's a pretty good wind. It's been windy all day, but uh, low down to 27, I think, tonight, so it's going to be a little chilly. But uh, the rest of the week's just going to get warmer, so can't complain about that. 11.2 um, miles for the day, I do believe, so not too shabby. Um, I will say... The AT is hard. Um, kicked my butt today, man. All the way up the 8.8 .8 miles of Springer. Wow, it's uphill pretty much most of the way. But once we left Springer and passed the parking lot and everything, for the, there's a parking lot up there that you can hike in like a mile. It was easy going the rest of the way down, so not too bad. But we're going to finish setting up camp here and get some dinner and I'll check back in later. Well, everybody, that concludes day one. Um, it's been a great day. Uh, we got here, set up camp. Like I said earlier, put in 11.2. Been looking at uh, the Far Out app. I think I'm gonna try to get to Gooch Mountain Shelter tomorrow. It should be about a 12.9 mile day. Uh, that's the goal for tomorrow. I don't know if I'll go any farther or whatever. We'll just see how tomorrow goes. But uh, it's gonna be a cold one tonight. They're saying 27. Winds died down a little bit, but um, I don't know. We'll see. But no, I'm getting ready to hit the bed here in probably another half hour. Um, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, I'm going to try to keep these, you know, halfway short, but I'm just going to do one every day. So there should be seven coming out. So yeah, day one on the AT is in the books. And uh, stick around. Like I said, I'm going to have one for every day. And uh, with that, catch you on the next one.